Hi guys, welcome to today's uh, coding challenge. We're going to be making this a fractal tree. Looks pretty cool, right? So um, let's start. Okay, so I've got here a blank processing sketch. We're just going to we're going to start. <laughs> so we'll say size is 1080 by 720. For this fractal tree, it probably doesn't really matter the size too much. Um, so, <laughs> um, all right, we'll just we'll just we'll just start. So, we're going to create a new tab and we're going to call it branch. So, this is going to be one branch of the fractal tree. So, what that means, what am I doing? So, we're going to have one branch that starts the whole tree. So, that branch is going to need a position, and then it's going to need, if we want to do some animation or like interactive stuff with it, we're also going to give it an angle that each of the subsequent branches will branch off to. Um, so first I guess we'll give it a position. So we'll go float X, float Y, and then a float angle. And then we're also going to want to keep track of how deep into the, tr like what level of the tree we're up to. So we'll give it an integer level and then also an integer of the maximum level like that. So we're going to have to store all of these variables. So we're going to say float X, Y, and A, and then int, oh, I spelt float wrong. I'll fix that in a sec. Int level and max. So we'll just fix this up. Float. Okay. So then we say this dot X equals X. You know the drill. This dot Y equals Y. This dot A equals A this dot level equals level and this dot max equals max. Okay. So that's all the variables I think we'll need. We can always change it later. So now we're going to have, I don't know if we'll do an update and a show because there's not really anything to update. So I guess we'll just have show. Um, void show. So, what it's going to do is we're going to say we're going to we're going to do this by um like recursively and so we're going to use push and pop matrix and all that so because we're going to translate around the screen to the start of each new line um which will hopefully make it easier so we're going to say first of all push matrix which will save like the current configuration of the origin and the rotation of the origin and all that, we're going to save it. And then right at the end, after we've done everything, we're going to say pop matrix. I didn't spell that right. Matrix. And what that does is that it restores those settings that we've saved. So in the middle, this is where we're going to do all of the, the funky stuff. So we're going to say, um, we're going to draw a line. Oh, another variable that we're going to need is like the length of each branch. So we're going to say float, can't spell float today, float len for length. Very creative. Um, so, and then we need to say this dot len equals len. So we're going to have a line. Well, we're going to translate to x and y. So what that does is it just makes, instead of you having to type in, say for a line, instead of going line x, y, because we've already translated to x, y, we can just say 0, 0. So we're doing a line from 0, 0 to 0, because we're going to stay in line on the x, and we're just going to go straight up to length, like that. And then we're going to say if level is less than the max. So if we don't, if we don't already have 
like if we're not at the end, at the tips of the branches of the tree, we're going to make some more. So this is kind of like, if you remember way back to the lightning one we did, this is like a very similar thing. So if level is less than max, we're going to say, actually, I think we want this show function in the branch because then we can just say um, branch like this and we go oh okay so now we have to uh, calculate like angles and stuff so we're going to say for each of these we're going to say translate we want to translate to the end of the current branch which is zero length, like this. So we want to translate to the end. Then we want to say, rotate by the angle. Then we're going to do the first branch. And then we're going to, so we've gone to the tip of this branch and we're going to rotate from zero to, whoop, over to the angle. And then we're going to rotate back two of the angles so that it branches one out to the angle and one out to negative that angle if that makes sense so we create a new branch at zero zero I think because we've already translated to the end of the branch so at zero zero and then the angle will stay the same then the length what we can do here is we can actually shorten the length each time. So as we get closer and closer to the tips of the branch, the branches get shorter and shorter. At the moment though, I'll just leave it as normal. Um, then the level will be the current level we're on plus one and the maximum will stay the same. And then what we want to do, so why is it giving me an error? It's saying that it doesn't exist. Oh, I need to say new branch like that, and then I want to rotate backwards two times the angle, like that, because I've gone <laughs> all these hand gestures. Okay, so the first branch is going to be plus the angle, and then we've got to move back to the center, that's minus 1a, and then back another one to get, you'll see. Um, so now we, yeah, we've rotated back and then we want to create another branch, uh, here. So that should, I think that's probably everything. <laughs> we'll try it out. We'll say new branch and we want this one to start at width on two. So in the middle of the screen and we want it to start at the bottom of the screen because it's branching up. Oh, actually, I think it's branching down because this should be negative length if we want it to branch up. Okay, so bottom of the screen, um, then what are the, okay, angle, length, level, and the maximum. So angle, we'll say pi on eight. So that's like 22, degrees, no, we'll go pound for 45 degrees, then, oh, can't remember, length, we'll say, I don't know, like 100, then level is zero, and the maximum will say like five levels for now, so if we run this, we, we, <laughs> we get a single line, which is a bit weird, don't know why that's happening. Oh, okay. I think it was just the angle I chose. So, this is with an angle of pi on 2. You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to say, I'm going to put this in draw. And instead of this, I'm going to say map mouse x that's between 0 and width to be between 0 and pi. So, like 0 and 180 degrees. So now, as I'm Oh, I need to clear the background as well. As I'm... Oh, wrong way. 255. We'll make it white. So, as I'm... That's super weird. I think it's upside down or something. It's definitely doing something funky. 
So, translate. Oh, it's because I've tra You know how I, was, I, I changed the length so that it draws up instead of down? I forgot to translate that way. So now if I run it, there you go. Oh, look at that. We get a tree that we can fold up in, <laughs> into a line. I think this would be better if we map uh, the mouse to be between that and pi on 2. So there you can see we get a fractal tree. Huh. So one thing I mentioned earlier that we could um, shorten the length of each subsequent um, branch. So we could say that it gets two thirds the length so that each time it just gets slightly shorter, which because before they were all overlapping. So hopefully they sh should stop doing that as much. There's probably some golden ratio for the length of each subsequent branch. But yeah, so you can see we get a fractal tree and we can manipulate how it's moved out. So I think that the length, it's not tall enough and also there aren't enough levels. So we'll play around with them. Um, so let's see, let's make it like 200. And I think instead of five, we could go like 20, 20 levels. So it's going to get, oh, it's, I think it's going to be super laggy. 20 might be too many. We'll go, we'll go 10. See how that goes. Oh, look at that. So you can really see those fractal patterns when you, oh, that's super cool. Look at that. So you could do a fair bit with this. You could use, um, like the, the level that it's at. If you remember back here, we've got the level and the maximum level. So you can use that to I don't know, like change the thicknesses of the line or change the color or something. You can get pretty creative with this stuff. So I can quickly do the line thing if you want to change the thickness. Um, and then you guys can do the, the color if you want. So stroke weight, we're just going to say, Oh, I need a capital. We're going to say it's the level divided by the maximum. So that'll get us, get us a value between zero and one. And we're going to say times whatever stroke weight, stroke weight we want. So like the maximum should be, oh, this is going to be the wrong way around. So we're going to say, we're going to say map level between zero and max. And we're going to say when it's zero, we want it really thick. So we want it like, I don't know, like 10. And then when it's at the max, at the very tips of the branch, we'll say that it's a stroke rate of one. So now if we run this, you can see that the ones at the end are like super tiny and then the ones at the bottom are thicker. So it looks more like an actual tree. So, and actually to make this look like an actual tree, you could give each branch like a chance of spawning. Oh, but this isn't going to work on <laughs> the way that this is set up. It won't work because every draw cycle we're drawing a new new tree so if this was random they'd be like flickering and stuff so you guys can try and do that if you want you can try and make it so that each branch has a random chance of it actually branching so that instead of it being a perfect tree and always branching you could for instance have like one of the branches not going and so it'll look more organic and like an actual tree um so yeah I, i'll leave that up to you guys Thanks for watching this coding challenge. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, in the description, there'll be the GitHub, which has the code for this and a link to processing, which means that you, when you get to GitHub, you can actually use the code. You can run it and tinker around with it with, uh, for yourself. And then there's also a link to my website where you can um, submit challenge ideas and like vote on topics that people have submitted. Um, yeah, so check it out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.